Ken Lewis foregoing his salary and bonus for 2009, bowing to pressure from the Obama administration. We're going to find out now what was behind that decision. And for that, we go to Washington and Juliana Goldman. Juliana, let's start with this. Any reaction from the White House? Well, Eric, the White House has been very careful not to weigh in on any of the decisions that Feinberg has made thus far. They don't want to compromise his independence. But officials have also said that they're pleased with his work. They've noted that the, they've noted in particular the push to allocate large portions of salary to stock tied to long-term performance. That's something, for example, we saw in uh, AIG CEO Robert Ben Moshe's pay package. Juliana, let's also talk about the bank profits we've seen this week. Very healthy numbers from Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. Is the government going to perceive this as a relief? Well, Wall Street cheered the earnings this week, but some in the White House felt a little differently. A one senior White House official who I spoke to pointed out that some of the same bailed out banks Goldman, J.P. Morgan, they were using the profits to wage a fierce lobbying battle against the White House push for regulatory reform. Now, that official called the efforts offensive and against the public well-being. Of course, the White House realizes that there are limits to what they can do, especially with the companies like Goldman, J.P. Morgan, that have repaid the TARP funds. But uh, take a look. We might see the president more outspoken on this in the coming days ahead. Now, even top economic advisor Larry Summers yesterday in a blog posting, he hinted at that pushback. He, in a, it was a posting that made the case for regulatory reform. He said, now is an appropriate moment for financial institutions, every one of which has benefited directly or indirectly from trillions of dollars of taxpayer support for the financial system, to consider it their duty by recognizing that the status quo is not acceptable. So a terse warning from, from Larry Summers. We'll see what we hear from the president.